let's draw the spur gear in front of us. Since our dimensions are in millimeters, so you're gonna go on new day metric standards millimeters, and then we say create. Here we are going to start with circles. Okay, we're going to go step by step. Easy and simple way to draw it. So our third circle comes and our fourth circle is there. So now this one here needs to be 75 millimeters. So 75. That one there needs to be 120. So 1 to 0. This one here needs to be 261. And that one will be 300 millimeters. So 3 double zero. Now that we have this in place, okay, we're gonna come here and click on ellipse. Now our ellipse needs to come like this. Okay. There we go. That is a big one. And we need to make sure that this one here is a 18.5 18.5 okay don't worry about it you are getting there and uh, you need to draw this line there okay there we go and this one here needs to be 22 millimeters so 22 okay and then you need to draw another line here from here to the okay and this one here needs to be because that is your point of contact of your gear so this one day needs to be 37 so 37 good now that you have that in place you need to make sure that from there to here you have 178.5 you see now you have the frame of your spur gear now you come here you draw your keyway so this one here needs to be um, 14 millimeters so one four and uh, from here to there you need seven okay seven millimeters okay there you go now you need to make sure that from there to here you have 47.5 uh, 47.5 that is good now that you have this the next thing that you need to do now is uh, to go on 3d model you go on 3d model you click on extrude okay now you need to extrude this part here it will be extruded by 200 millimeters okay both sides of our drawing plane then after that we're gonna say plus we are going to extrude by starting by uh, that's one so to avoid complication you can put one there because you need to see everything there then we go for this one that one that's one by 160 both sides of the drawing plan as you can see right now you say okay so you need now to go on circular pattern you choose that one against your axis okay it's x Okay, so you need to have 13 of this. There we go. Now you say, okay. So what you can do now is to choose your material. You go on generic there. Now you're going to go for, uh, let's say, steel alloy. Then you have your spur gear in front of us or in front of you it was a pleasure of mine sharing this video with you i hope that you enjoyed it i hope that you're gonna enjoy it for now i ask you to take it yourself please don't forget to subscribe don't forget to share don't forget to like see you all in the next video bye